One of the most important concepts for the production of lift comes from a 1700s Swiss mathematician and physicist named Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel is considered like the father of fluid mechanics and one of the things he studied way before we even started trying to do powered flight was the relationship between the velocity of a fluid and the pressure inside of that fluid. Daniel realized that when pumping water through pipes, if the area of the pipe got smaller, the velocity of that fluid would increase to get the same number of molecules through a given area. But as it did that, there was less internal pressure in that fluid. So the pressure would decrease as velocity increased. This principle is directly connected to how we study aerodynamics in wind tunnels today. So as the area of the wind tunnel decreases, the velocity of the air in that wind tunnel is going to increase. This is also how aircraft produce lift using Bernoulli's principle. So if the wing displaces the air, it's going to cause it to increase its velocity and the resulting force of that is going to be a net decrease in pressure. So here's some great visual aids or demonstrations that you can use when trying to understand Bernoulli's principle. All right, so I'm back at the house now and I have a battery powered blower and a ping pong ball outside so hopefully you'll be able to see this and it makes sense. Um, this is just the best place I have to shoot this. So when I blow the ping pong ball up with this blower, we assume that the blower itself is pushing the ping pong ball over. But as I angle the blower sideways, that would mean the ping pong ball should go shooting off into the distance, but it doesn't. It just floats here. And this principle does hold true regardless of what type of ball you are using. It'll take more energy and power to do a larger ball or a heavier ball like a golf ball here, but the same still holds true that instead of getting blown off and going flying away from the blower, I'm capable of holding these suspended in the air by something other than just dynamic pressure. So let's take a look at what is actually going on. I use a free app called Wind Tunnel to help me visualize what is going on in complex aerodynamics like this. Here I have an example of our ping pong ball being supported by an upward flow of air. And what you can see is on this page, which represents pressure, the orange area is higher pressure compared to the lower blue areas. Well, as we've already discussed, pressure is directly connected to the velocity of the air that it flows in. So I'll change over to the speed page on this app and we can see that these same areas correspond with speed differences with the air as well. Here you can see that there's lower velocity at the bottom of the ping pong ball with higher velocities around the edge. What's really going on is Bernoulli's principle is coming into play and there's a low pressure being generated on the sides and top of the ball that hold it in place by an envelope of air going around the ball to allow it to remain suspended even when the blower is off to the side or the ping pong ball is at an angle. Let's take a look at several more ways that we can understand how velocity increase and pressure decreases with Bernoulli's principle. Right now I'm down in our technical lab uh, at Middle Tennessee State University's Aerospace Department. We've got some wind tunnel stuff over here. Um, we do all kinds of uh, actual experiments in here dealing with uh, aerodynamics and a lot of our tech students um, do uh, studies on quadcopter propeller performance as well as some of the other things that um, they have going on here but there's also some really good ways to demonstrate Bernoulli's principle here in the lab and so that's what we're doing down here today so let's take a look at those this one is pretty easy and you could actually get these materials um, where you are all I've got here is like a 4x4 piece of cardboard, um, a sewing spool that uh, has no string on it any longer, and then a sewing needle or a push pin needle, either one. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert somewhere kind of towards the middle this needle into my cardboard. So it's kind of sticking out of the cardboard like that right there. And now what I'm gonna do is that needle is just gonna give this board some stability so it doesn't just take off and go flying. But I'm gonna place the spool over top of the needle. And now I'm going to blow through the center of the spool. And based on Bernoulli's principle, what we'll actually see is the cardboard will hover 
um, just underneath the spool until I run out of breath and no longer can blow and then it will fall. The reason for that is, is just like we saw with the ping pong ball, according to Bernoulli's principle, as velocity increases, pressure decreases. So as the air comes sweeping out of the spool and around the cardboard, its velocity right across the top of this cardboard has increased. So the pressure will decrease. Well, if that pressure is decreased, the atmospheric pressure that's underneath the cardboard is going to hold it up towards that spool. So it seems a little counterintuitive, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it plays out when we actually blow on this thing. The Bernoulli's principle will allow a little cushion of air with high velocity and low pressure to draw the cardboard up while high pressure underneath pushes up. Let's scale this up. A bigger piece of cardboard, well technically this is poster board, but this is just a direct replica of what we did with the spool scaled up. And now because the needle won't fit, I'm just going to put a sharpie or I guess this is a highlighter in here and that's just to give it some stability so that way it doesn't get all wobbly. You can see the same thing happens with the blower that happens with the spool. The cardboard is going to stay there because of a low pressure of air drawing it up and a high pressure underneath pushing it up. This is the exact same way that a wing produces lift using Bernoulli's principle by increasing the velocity over the top of the wing. And we can actually demonstrate that too. This might be the easiest of all demonstrations for you to do yourself. So for this one, all you need is a blank sheet of paper. As we've said, based on Bernoulli's principle, as velocity increases, pressure is going to drop or decrease. So what I can do to demonstrate this is if I take a sheet of paper and shape it like an airfoil, so from the side, I'll just give it some curvature, similar to what an airfoil would have. If I were to blow over the top of it, if that velocity is increasing, what we should see is the paper actually come up because of the high pressure underneath it pushing up just like an airplane wing would do. So you can see there on that one that as I blew across it, the paper actually just jumped up, went perfectly flat, and it drew up into the system. Let's do it one more time here. Blowing across the top is shown as Bernoulli's principle and how that caused pressure to decrease uh, by increasing the velocity of the fluid, or in this case, the air. Right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of these demonstrations. From time to time, I'll come in here and grab some of these things to do demonstrations of Bernoulli's principles. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed seeing that. And if you're ever in this area, be sure to swing by. I'll give you a tour of the place. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.